That's interesting. <laughs> What's up guys, Rich Tuber Bash, and I'm out here for a real quick rip with my uh, Typhon, my Arma Typhon 3S. This sucker's been down for, I probably, I don't know, the last several weeks. Um, what happened was I hit LVC at another jump park and uh, I was launching off a big berm jump. Basically, I lost power, came down basically pretty much like this and I ended up busting my rear A arm. So um, I've got uh, fresh arms on the rear. Um, other than that, this thing's pretty much stock other than stuff I talked about previously. I, I had geared this I had geared this up um, from a, uh, the stock 15 tooth to a 20 tooth. Um, I've got the hot racing adjustable motor mount on here. Um, I just put in some more sealed bearings in the slipper housing um, as well as in the input gears. Um, and then I had previously upgraded these shocks to the Trackstar Turnigy. I had done a video on these. So um, in any case, these shocks have been great. Um, I uh, switched the pistons for uh, the Arma 6S pistons and I also uh, swapped these springs to the uh, Team Durango GPM uh, aluminum steering knuckles. Uh, this is just a great upgrade for these 3S rigs. Um, so far, my Creighton 4S, I haven't had a, a single breakage. Um, as you guys know, they've uh, uh, the Outcast and Creighton 4S definitely have wider arms. They come stock with 4mm uh, shock shafts, the 16mm bore uh, shocks, um, beefier drive shafts, longer lengths. Um, and definitely have uh, beefier hubs. So um, in any case, that's not taking anything from this uh, the 3S line. Um, this actually, this 3S Typhon is actually one of my favorite Armas of all time. Oh, <laughs> just lost a rear tire, guys. That's interesting. <laughs> you know, it's possible I never did. Uh, I, I never did vent these tires, and I uh, I was squeezing a little bit of water out of them, uh, unfortunately, because I uh, my, my last couple bids with this thing, I think it was still pretty wet out. So uh, anyway, it is what it is. I do have a, a spare set of wheels that I had glued myself. Uh, I got but these the are the Badland 2.8s, the originals. With uh, they're basically glued onto Proline F11 2.8 with 17 millimeter hex, and then here's a size comparison uh, with the stock buggy tire. So you'll see they are a little bit bigger. They're both a little bit taller and a little bit wider. Uh, definitely add just a little bit of weight on here. Have a lot more cushion. So anyway, hopefully I'll have better luck and uh, get the rest of my run in here. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> man, these are tough rigs, guys. Oh, <laughs> gonna be one of them days, guys. Well, it looks like the axle, the axle pulled out. So I've had this happen, I think, one other time. There's a little set screw in here that holds this together. So I'm not sure if I had a maybe a little sideways landing, but it looks like my bearing kind of popped out here too. So I'll see if I can get this back together really quick. Like I said, I've had this happen once before. It's really not a big deal. Um, I went ahead and just reassembled it. I cleaned out my, uh, I cleaned out my hub. I took this off the truck just to show you guys. But basically, in case you guys. In case you guys didn't know, this basically there's a you get a two millimeter hex, and you can fit this all the way in through your uh, your drive shaft. And basically, you just need to tighten this up. It's actually easier if you keep the wheel on here. Um, but anyway, this thing's nice and nice and snug down again. I'll Loctite this later at the house. But uh, anyway, I didn't see any damage to the plastic, so I think I'm good to go. Absolutely love this buggy, guys. It's just, just the handling is so killer.
There's some chassis slap. <laughs> What a little monster. <laughs> All right, guys, I think I'm losing power. <laughs> oh, nope, I'm definitely losing power. <laughs> uh, it's always better to stop, guys. Don't ever go for that one more jump if you think you're near LVC or you're, uh, you're getting your electronics are getting hot or whatever. Uh, this Typhon 3S is easily one of my favorite rigs of all time. Uh, the thing is just absolute ripper. Again, I've got it geared up from a 15 to a to a 20 tooth, uh, I've got a Robinson Racing uh, 0.8 mod or 32 pitch gear in there. So, uh, but yeah, this thing's a little beast. These Turnigy uh, Trackstar shocks are a killer value. I'm not sure if they're back in stock, but they're like 15 bucks a set. And again, they're four millimeter, 7075 aluminum. Um, the rears are definitely quite a bit longer than the stock one, as I mentioned in um, a previous one video. Last thing, guys, I wanted to give another huge shout out to my good buddy. Thomas P with TP Parts RC Extreme. Uh, he's the one that really convinced me to, to grab this rig um, as well as the Italian V3. So uh, huge shout out to you, Thomas. Uh, also shout out to Arma. All right, guys, till next time. Late.